Hey guys, this is Trenchy back again to bring you another video. Um, fuck. Yeah, that'll work. This time, I'm going to be doing a review on the Goldberg Season 6, Episode 5, Mr. Knifey Hands. That's the name of it. Name Mr. Knifey Hands. Um, now, um, I talked about this episode yesterday. I did not know it was going to be premiering that night. Like, I didn't know. Like, I just got the news that day, too. Nobody said it was premiering that night, which, yesterday night, which it did. Um, I found that out later. So, um, I watched it on Hulu this morning. I watched it on Hulu because it comes on the day after. So, I watched it, the episode this morning, and you can find it. You can just... If you got Hulu, just look it up and go all the way down. Go all the way down to the last episode. You gotta go down all the seasons. You gotta go to the last episode of the last season, and that that will be it. Um, but here here's my thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna give my thoughts on the whole episode. Um, just so you know, the I'm gonna talk about. There may be spoilers, so if you don't want to be spoiled, um. I won't watch his review, I'll watch the episode. But I'm not really going to be spoiling the Freddy Krueger stuff. I'm going to be more spoiling the other parts of the episode. Because the Freddy Krueger stuff is great in my opinion. Just, I want, I wish there was more. Because I thought it was going to have a little bit more than what it actually did. And I'll explain that. When I get into it. And. Yeah I'll get into this well. The episode. Had two kind of plots going on. We had the Freddy Krueger plot of course. Involving the young. The, the kid. The, I think is the main character. Because he's also narrating the story. And his parents. Her parents allowing him to watch. Um, a scary movie which is Nightmare on Elm Street. And. Um his parents not wanting him to. There was that kind of plot. And then there was a secondary plot where his sister's boyfriend was trying to get him to wear a couple's costume. And all his ideas were pretty stupid. They were all just, um... Just so you know, the show takes place in the 80s. So it's an, it's an 80s show. So this guy is, like, coming up with all these things. Like, his first idea was Hall and Oates. And, you know, it was, like, cough drop. And he was going to be the Quaker Oats, and he was going to be calling Oats, and then he also had the idea for Beetlejuice, and just all this other, just really bad costume ideas that were kind of funny, though. Yeah, some of them were funny, but some of them were just uh, a little cringy. But then, his girlfriend ends up, what, well, I'm just going to talk about this plot, because I think this is actually the weaker plot of the episode. Um, they go to the, he and he's in, still in school, she's not. He drops her off, at, she drops him off at school, but the principal comes inside, and then she ends up liking the school because everybody kind of looks up to her. So she ends up hanging around after she had to she ends up hanging around the school, trying to impress everybody because she feels wanted there. And obviously she doesn't feel wanted in real life. And the boyfriend is starting to get, like, a little nervous, so he's, like, telling her, dude, you can't chill here, you gotta go. And that makes her go, that makes her think, oh, you know, these people love me, I'm gonna show you. So she goes and tries to buy them beer They have a party. She goes and tries to get them a keg of beer. And, um, she ends up not being able to get the keg of beer. She ends up getting friends of all fine out about the beer but he thinks it's real beer and they have a little face off which is kind of funny the principal is funny i do like the principal the principal was pretty funny in this episode um not like nailed out of the park like i didn't laugh i never i didn't laugh my ass off watching this episode i didn't really laugh out loud at all i think i laughed out loud like, but it's not like it's not like the humor didn't really of the of this episode was this is a humor show. This is a this, 
I did like the storylines, though. The storylines were good. Like I'm saying, like, the day, the principal, they bu- he busts her, and then he finds out it's non-alcoholic beer, but he ends up taking the non-alcoholic beer and pretends it's real beer for all the teachers and stuff. It, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And then she finally learns her lesson, you know, she agrees to go to a dance with him, and, and she wears the costume. That's the secondary plot, which is a, it's a good story, it's a good storyline, it's just wasn't really that funny, and, um, I didn't really connect with the characters too much, you know, I kind of like the characters, I liked, I, the principal was pretty funny though, like, I liked the principal, I think the principal got me to laugh out loud, I think it was the principal and the dad, I don't know... The principal and the dad were the ones, and, and Freddy, Freddy got me to laugh too. And that scene was pretty funny. But we'll get into that. And then the secondary plot, like I said, is Katie's trying to watch the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street with his girlfriend. And his mom's like, no, and his mom said some weird shit, which she also said some pretty creative comedic stuff there. But still, so... She said no, she said this one kid got something to happen to him because he watched The Exorcist or something. And then, yeah, so he's not allowed to watch it, but his girlfriend's like, I got the, my parents rented the movie, my parents are cool with it, you should come over and watch it. So he comes over and he starts getting, he watches it and then he starts getting nightmares. There's a, he's in the bathtub and he's asleep and there's a famous hand scene the hand comes up, and, yeah, the, that was pretty cool, we don't really get to see Freddy then, but that was pretty cool, and then he wakes up, you know, he's like, freaked out, he's sitting there, he's drinking soda, and his mom's like, no, his mom's like, shouldn't have watched that movie, and she's wearing a Freddy Krueger sweater, she's kind of funny, she's like, finds out, and she goes in on him. And she's like, you know, I'm going to cure you. And she's all down to curing him. But then the other parents end up, the other, the his girlfriend's dad ends up showing him the magazine of, like, Phil Moore. And it shows how the movies were made. So he gets over his fear, which makes his parents jealous of them. Because, um, because they helped his, their son when he couldn't. When they couldn't. So they have a conversation confrontation with them, and the dad already doesn't like them, because the dad thinks they're hippies, and he does not like hippies, because he didn't get to go to Woodstock, (laughs) because he had to work two jobs, and stuff, so, yeah, he, he, the dad's pretty funny, the dad's kind of weird, and he makes weird running noises. And he has this weird look out his face. He's like, he's like, he's like oh, I hate hippies. Fucking dancing around frolicking. Like, the fuck? Like, that was funny. Um, that part was funny. But then, yeah, they have a confrontation. Two parents have a confrontation at Haunted Hay Ride. I had a Haunted Hay Place and in a maze. They end up breaking up. The They end up saying that the boy and the girl can't see each other again. But then the mom goes home, and she has a nightmare, which is the Freddy Krueger segment. And I will tell you, this is awesome. I won't get too much into it, but it's funny. It's got great atmosphere to places, and the sets are awesome. The one house looks definitely like out of a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. And just... This segment was awesome. They had the little girls, and they were singing the song, and they were doing jump rope. And it's Robert England back as Freddy. He's back, and he's wearing the makeup. And you can tell it's him under the makeup. It's no one else. It's really him. And he's out there, and he's doing his thing. And he's really good at it. Yes, it's kind of comedic this time because it's a sitcom. But he's he's doing his thing, man. And he gets the curse. He gets the cuss. It's bleeped out, but he gets the cuss. He doesn't say B, though. He says another curse word. But he gets the cuss, though. You know, it's still Freddy. It's Freddy. Freddy can be Freddy. So, anyways, um, it was very good. I, I really liked that scene. 
And then, of course, this gets the mom to change her ways, and she invites the parents over and the dad as well. They all apologize, and they all make up. Because they realize they can't keep their kids apart anyways, because when the mom woke up, she found the daughter of the other person's parents hiding in the closet. So the, she realizes, they both realize that they're not perfect, but no one's better than the other one, and they're both good parents, and different ways and they should work as a team to help raise each other's kids instead of competing and not liking each other and stuff which I thought was really good and the mom and the mom and dad apologized to the other people and you know they said they were wrong and they all made up and it was good and it was a good ending it was happy and it was it was good now here's my one complaint with this episode is the way they described it is I thought there would be at least Two nightmare segments, the segments, one in the middle with Freddy and one near the end with Freddy. That's what I was expecting. What happened was, was there was only one segment near the end actually with Freddy in it and it's only a couple minutes long. Which, it's very good. No, I love that segment. That's a very good segment. But, um, I was wishing there was more. Or that the story was stronger, because like I said, it was entertaining plot, but they just weren't funny, and some of the jokes were kind of cringy. Now, I don't know if the if it's just me, and I'm, because it is a sitcom, and I don't know if I'm just over sitcom comedy, because I don't really watch that many sitcoms anymore. I used to watch quite a few sitcoms, but now I don't really, so I don't know if it's maybe I'm just done with sitcom comedy, and maybe I just got over, I'm just over with that. I don't know if that's just me or not, because I, this episode didn't really, like, make me laugh. Like, I was entertained, even though I will say that the, that the plot, that both plots could have been slightly stronger. I don't know if you understand, but I think they could have been stronger because they were kind of weak plots. Again, they were sitcom plots. So, this is, I, I gotta keep remembering that this is a sitcom, but still, I think they could have been stronger than what they were, if you, if you get what I'm saying. But anyways, besides that, I thought it was a decent episode, you know. I don't think I'll start watching this show because of it, because like I said, I wasn't to, like, suck into, like, the other plots. Like, I thought they were good. I just wasn't too, like, sucked into them as I was the whole Freddy Nightmare scene. That was the, that was what drew me in the most. The rest of the plots were average at best. It was, it was average at best. So, yeah, so, um, I'm not saying it's a bad show. I'm just saying... It just didn't really pique my interest. It didn't really make me be like, I gotta watch another episode of this. Like, I was just like, yeah. Which, I didn't know about anything about the show going in. I didn't know about anything about the show going in. Like I said, I was just here to see Robin England and Spray again, which was great. Hopefully, he'll do another movie. Probably won't, but hopefully he will. Now, this is a good year for horror, guys. We have the return of Michael Myers and a kind of return of Freddy Krueger, which was very cool. And both were played by their original actors, which also was really cool. So, you know, seeing them again was pretty damn awesome. So, I'm just going to give this episode... Uh, well, I didn't see the Halloween movie up this stuff. I'm going to give this episode... Um... 6.5 average. Like I said, the rest of the rest of it's like, eh. Like I said, the humor didn't really make me laugh. It was okay. Some of it was good. Some of it was good. There was good. There is good humor in this episode. It's just besides that, it's kind of eh, eh. Like, like, there was good humor in the Freddy Krueger scene, and, I, and the, like I said, the dad and the principal made me laugh. And, you know, there were some other funny scenes through in there, you know. The, and then there were some scenes where I didn't laugh, but I'm like, that's a creative joke. Like, 
You know? Like, that's pretty creative. I like that. It didn't make me laugh, but I like it. Like, so, I just give it a 6.5. Like, I just wish there was more Freddy or that the other plots were stronger than what they were. But for what it was, it was cool. I'm okay with it. So, so yeah, if you want to watch the episode on Hulu, um, or you probably find it on demand, or I'm going to try to do this, because I know that a lot of people might want to see this. I'm going to try to obtain the episode <laughs> one way or another. I'm going to try to obtain it. Which I have obtained episodes before. I won't go into how I do that. But I have obtained episodes before. I will try to obtain it. And what I will do is I don't know exactly if this will work. But if you really want the episode, just let me know in the comments below. And I'll leave my email in the description. And I'll, I'll let you know if, that, if this will work or not. I will try to obtain the episode. And I will try to email you the episode. Just because I know there's a lot of Freddy fans out there that want to see this. And I think I might be able to do it. I don't know 100%, so don't bank me on it. Don't bank on me. Try to find it some other way. But if you can't, I'll try to send you the episode. Or you can just wait for the whole Freddy Krueger segment to come on YouTube. Because literally... If you just want the Freddy Krueger segment, you might as well just watch the Freddy Krueger segment on YouTube. Unless if you want to check out the episode. If you want to check out the episode, then we'll figure something out. But, um, if you want to just see Freddy, just, it's only a little segment. They'll probably have it on YouTube. You can probably watch the whole thing on YouTube. But anyways, yeah, um, I don't know how long this has been going on because it's doing this in fucking military time. Because I know I haven't been on here for 17 minutes. Have I been on here for 17 fucking minutes? I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I hope you guys have a nice day. Um, stay frosty. This is Trenchy signing off. Beep. Uh, boop.